Hey there fellow doll collectors, welcome back, David Eon here with something that you probably haven't seen from me in a little while. Today we're talking comic books and what I'm doing is a CGC unboxing. I know it's been a long time since I've done an unboxing like this and don't get to talk comic books too often, but yeah, I've got a graded case here and for those of you who have never dealt with CGC directly or you don't have an account with CGC, this is how they ship stuff because people are always concerned, especially nowadays, so many packages get beat to death by all three of the major shipping services. They just don't seem to care anymore. They've gotten very sloppy in the last couple of years. CGC is aware of this and do take care of their customers in this regard. And I'm showing you here, I'll go ahead and open this up and I'll raise this up a little bit so that you can look right down in here. When you get the main box open, there's a second box of corrugated cardboard that is literally an inch thick because they don't want you calling them back and saying UPS smashed the uh, piss out of my books that I invested so much in. You see this goes all the way around and on the bottom so it's pretty solid. But of course what do I have in here? Well I have actually some rather unique pieces. I think so, and I'll, sh I'll tell you why here in a moment. So we'll go ahead and we'll pull this bubble wrap out of the center so that I can collapse the ends together and we can start looking through here. And the first one up is Batman Family, number one, graded 9.6. And I picked this up at a comic show for a song and a dance. It was really, really cheap but to me looked to be in a really excellent overall condition. And I thought it was going to come out of it a 9.4. And this isn't a book that you'd want to try to press either because it's got a staple running through the edge. The inside edge has a staple. You can almost kind of see the indentation from it right there. So if you tried to press this a book that has a staple that's not on the seam, you could really mess it up. And I figured, oh, it'll be about a 9.4, and it came out a 9.6. And I'm going to show you the census. One of the unique things about CGC is they have a census for search results where you can literally look at all the other graded examples and get an idea of how many of them there are. And here's the search results for Batman Family number one. And you see there that only 128 have ever been graded by CGC. And 11 of them are a 9.6. 11 of them are 9.6. Mine now makes 12. So 12 9.6s exist. And 4 9.8s. So there's only 4 that are in a better condition than mine. And I have one of 12 now that are in a 9.6 condition. And that's just really interesting, I think, and I like that feature a lot. So let's go ahead and pull out the next one. And the next one is two of the same book, and that is Star Wars X-Wing Road Squadron Special Edition from Dark Horse Comics made in 1995. This was like a serial promo. And it was shipped in a translucent cello bag. So literally a bag like this one was put over the comic and then they stick a label to it and throw it out in the mail. And so, you know, they'd roll them up and stick them in mailboxes. So it is very difficult to find any of these that are not just beat to death by the shipping process. So to find a 9.6, not so easy. Even harder to find two that are in that kind of condition considering how these were distributed. And let's go ahead and look at the census on these. And as you can see, only 36 have ever been graded for the X-Wing Rogue Squadron Special Edition. Seven of them are a 9.6, and 
apparently 20 in a 9-8, and that surprises me. 20 of them in a 9-8, and two signature series have been graded in a 9-8 for a total of 22. That really does surprise me, although those might be editions that never went out in the mail. As far as I know, these did, of which there are only seven. And of course now, this would make nine, because the census does not include the two that I have here. Really nice to see. And again, very few of these have ever been graded. Only a total of 36, or 38 now. Now let's take a look at what else is in here. I have two copies of Adventures of the Planet of the Apes, number three. And I sent these in primarily because they were in really excellent overall condition. And I am a fan of the classic Planet of the Apes. This is a 9.4. And the other one came out a solid 9.6. And honestly, I kind of expected them both to be a 9.6. So to get a 9.4 and a 9.6, I'm just a slightly disappointed, but not really. I'm happy to have the 9.6 at all. Because these are not easy to find in decent condition. From this time period, you see December 1975 is the date that this was issued. So very happy to have this. And I'm going to go ahead and show you the census on this one. And there it goes. And you can see from here that only 46 Planet of the Apes number threes have ever been graded. Again, this is a very low number. 15 in a 9-6. With my two, that makes it 17 now that exist in a 9-6. And then only five in a higher grade than that. 46 ever graded in the history of CGC. So, very nice. Very happy to have that as well. And, you know, it's a lot more impressive to me to have vintage books that grade very high, that are rare, as opposed to modern books that are rare, that are made deliberately in very low numbers. Next up, we've got the Omega Men, number three, which some of you might recognize as being the first appearance of Lobo. Omega Men, number three, first appearance of Lobo. And I have three of these. Nine, six. Nine, six. and 9.4. And this is another one. I expected all three of them to come out in 9.6. Look at that old Atari Tron ad on the back there. Was that Atari? I think this was for Atari. So one 9.4 and two 9.6s. I expected all three to be in 9.6, but again, I'm not complaining. I actually bought these from a comic shop when Lobo first reappeared on the scene in his own independent comic. And I went and I found these and I got them for like a buck each. <laughs> so I've been holding on to those for a while and kept them in really good condition. Let's look at the census on this. Omega Men number three, and as you can see, a lot of these have been graded. 5,418 total, so now 5,421 counting my three. 1,389 in a 9.6, and then 736 in a 9.4, and 1,876 in a 9.8, plus uh, some signature series editions. And one restored, <laughs> one restored to a 9.8 it says there. And I love how they break that down too, give you all that general information. 
So there's a lot of them in a 9.6, although because it's a first appearance, they actually do command a, a pretty decent price, especially graded. But yeah, a lot of these have been graded. I would still like to get a 9.8, but I'm happy with the 9.6. So we'll go ahead and put these back. And now this is going to throw you. You see all these are the same book. And I figured most of these were going to be a 9.4 to a 9.6. Maybe one of them, one or two of them might even be a 9.8. And I got one zonk. If you're familiar with the old Let's Make a Deal with Monty Hall, and you'd get the zonk. That's what I'm talking about because one of these threw me. And this book is Ghost Rider Hot Pursuit. And I'll go ahead and I'll show you the zonk. Because aside from this one, I was mostly right in my assessment. There's the eight. That's Ghost Rider Hot Pursuit. And it was a KB Toy Stores exclusive giveaway in 1993. And I got these in 1993, all 10 of them, and held on to them for all those years. And this was a book that literally, because they were doing a deal with Toy Biz, Toy Biz X-Men, and they had the exclusive KB Toy Stores X-Men, if you remember those. They were giving these away, a limited number in each KB. And so these are actually very difficult to find at all. More so than you might imagine, as you're about to find out when I show you the census on this one. But this was the Zonk. And the grader's notes said that they discovered a crease in the back. And I was like, really? And I see it now. And it runs right through here. There is a crease that comes right through here. And that's why they knocked it down to an 8. And there's a some pinching up here as well. I don't recall having seen that or else I probably would have held this one back and pressed it um, before trying to send it in. But it is what it is. So this one's a 9.8. I can live with it. So the next one, and I had said most of these I anticipated would be a 9.4 or a 9.6. Maybe a 9.8 in here. So let's look at the rest and then I'll show you the census. There's a 9.4. Another 9-4, which is really good. There's a single 9-2. I missed that one somehow, but there's a 9-2. A 9-6. Four more, all in a 9-6 condition. See, and they're all the same one. Ghost Rider, Hot Pursuit, 1993, KB Toy Stores giveaway. And then, 9-8. And like I said, I thought I'd get maybe two nine eights and some nine sixes and nine fours so that eight really kind of threw me off but you never know I mean sometimes that's the gamble that you take that nine two kind of surprised me a little bit but I'm not disappointed considering get ready for this here comes the census in the entire history of CGC only once has one of these comics ever been graded. That's how hard it is to find these in any kind of halfway decent condition because they were a giveaway for kids. That's surprising. So now there are 11. When the census resets, there will be 11 because of my 10 graded books that I've submitted. But that is unique. That is unique. And the only other one that's ever been submitted was a 9-2. So I have possession of basically the best possible copies <laughs> of this book that can be found. I think that's pretty unique. So I'm happy with that. I'm really kind of surprised by that. $1.50 value, it says. <laughs> they don't make comic books that cheap anymore. 
So what do you think, guys? Are you, uh, are you into graded comics? And I know there's people out there, I've gotten this comment before, oh, you're ruining the comic industry, you're one of the problems because you grade comics, you don't read them. You don't know if I read this or not. <laughs> you don't know what I did. And just because I grade them doesn't mean that I don't read them or haven't read them. It's, it's however you enjoy it. You know, for some people, I knew a guy who collected comics before there was grading for the covers. He would buy whatever had a really nice cover because that's what he liked. He didn't even read them. So it's all about how you enjoy them. Don't listen to the naysayers. Um, would you like to see on this channel more discussions about comics and grading and things like that? Let me know in the comments section down below. What do you think about my haul? These were free. I didn't pay for these, by the way. <laughs> I got these for free that that day in 93 in KB Toy Stores. There was no one around. I just picked up the stack. They only had 10. <laughs> I'm awful, I know. Whatever. But what can I say? Story. My Omega Men 9.6. I'm happy with the 9.6s. I like Lobo. Let me know what your thoughts are in the comment section down below. Are you into grading? Would you like to see more of this type of discussion on this channel? Since I haven't had much of an opportunity to do too much with comic books. Usually I do action figures and toys. Planet of the Apes. I'd like to find a one in a high grade. Do you buy graded books? Do you buy books that aren't graded and get them done? Share with me in the comments section. Please do give the video a thumbs up if you got something out of it. I hope you did. Share it if you can. Subscribe if you're new. All that good stuff. Check out some of our other videos. I was really pleased with this one. Like I said, I thought it was going to be about a 9.4. So it's a slightly higher than I expected and not too many of these in graded condition. I'm happy with this. Very cool. But I think that about wraps it up. So I'll add these to my other graded books. And I will see you again soon. Thanks for watching.